Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea if you're new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. You're the realist. I don't know why I always do like little finger guns. If you are new, please do subscribe. It would mean the world to me and let me know in the comments below that you're new, introduce yourself, I love that, makes me happy. Also, if you're not already, please do follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm more active on Instagram, especially Instagram stories, and that's where I love talking to y'all about all of this craziness and products and stuff like that too, just like normal everyday stuff. My username on Instagram and Twitter is at I am CC Suarez. Both of those are linked down below. And then also I will put it up on this screen as well. A little about me before we get started. I am 29 years old. I live in Florida. Absolutely love it. I've been in sales for 10 years. My husband's name is Tony. We've been together for 10 years, married for five. We have an English bulldog named Widom and he is the light of our lives. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive on yet another multi-level marketing company, also known as an MLM, also known as a legal pyramid scheme. So I've done one of these already, and it was my Monate deep dive. If you'd like to see any of my other anti-MLM content, go ahead and click the little, little icon up there, and then I'll leave the playlist for that linked down below as well. But today's video is gonna be all about Arbonne, or as I like to call it, white girls in brown hats. Before we get started, I want to make just a few things clear. All of the reports, figures, charts, numbers, statistics, everything that I am getting and that I'm talking about today and I'm showing to you, obviously there's gonna be a little bit of my opinion put in there too, but everything that I'm presenting to you today has been directly from the Arbonne website. Other information that Arbonne has released to the public and I made sure that all of my sources were either directly from Arbonne or directly from the FTC, which is the Federal Trade Commission. Also, I always just wanna make clear, these videos aren't to hate on anyone. They're not to shame anyone who has been in MLM or is in one. I'm not saying that everyone who is in an MLM is a horrible person or a shitty person or just a manipulative sociopath. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I make these videos to educate, to be able to help you and I have already seen that it has helped a lot of people and that's what I want to do. A lot of people don't know what an MLM is. A lot of people don't know that certain businesses are MLMs and I don't want you to be scammed. So I'm going to show you basically everything about Arbonne today. We're gonna to go over a little bit about the business, earnings and commissions and like the income disclosure statements, which we're doing again, a lot of math with that, which is y'all know how I just love to do math during these videos. And then we'll be going over the car, the incentive trips, FTC warnings and like sketchy law lawsuits and the like sketchy business practices and stuff like that of Arbonne, the longevity of being in the business in general, how MLMs can cause you to lose like relationships and destroy marriages and things like that. And then also we're going to go over just a little bit about the overpriced products. I don't really want to focus too much on the overpriced products because this isn't really about the products themselves. This is about the structure of the business and how you should not join a multi-level marketing company. Now, Arbonne was started in Norway in 1975, and then in 1980, the headquarters or the international headquarters was opened in the U.S., and since then, they've opened up in a few other countries as well. Also, keep in mind the statistics and numbers and figures and all those things that we're going to go over are mainly for the U.S., because that is where most of their independent consultants reside. And also, the reason why I always want to make these facts and things like that clear and where I'm getting this information is because a lot of times if you show this video or show any of my content to a person who's in an MLM, they're so brainwashed that they will literally say, well, all of that's lies. And I literally had a girl tell me that. And I'm like, how is it lies if it comes straight from like this documentation is directly from the website of the company? Like these figures aren't wrong. Like this isn't a lie. So always just wanna make that clear. Now Arbonne claims to provide healthy living solutions and products and change lives and things like that through science. And they sell dietary supplements, hair care, makeup, skincare, I think that's it. Yeah, makeup, skincare, dietary, I almost want to say diuretic. I mean, basically that's what they are. Yeah, makeup, skincare, hair care, and supplements. And then there's like a few other like little like lifestyle things, but not really. That's basically all they sell, which is a lot. It's weird that they sell this much stuff. So let's move on to, I'm sure what everyone wants to know about. If you're watching this video right now, most likely, 
I mean, you're realistically, you're probably like obsessed with this stuff like I am and find it super interesting and just fall down the anti MLM rabbit hole, right? But there's also a huge chance that you right now have either one, been approached by someone and you're really excited and they told you all about the opportunity and the free car and the trips and the money and blah, 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 and how they're doing so great. And you're doing research, which is great. Good job. I'm very, very proud of you. I'd touch your butt if I could. Very proud if I had your permission. And then number two, you have already joined and they did the whole urgency thing where they want you to join super fast without looking anything up and without second guessing them because they want to get you to sign up to get that bonus that they get when you do sign up because they know that if you look up anything about the business and look on YouTube, most people, our generation, our age are gonna go to YouTube to figure stuff out right or Google it. So with that, you're most likely sitting here and wondering, okay, well, can I actually make money with this? And the answer is that the average profit, meaning you made your money back and more from the from the starter pack that you bought, the average profit is zero. Thankfully, Arbon is one of the multi-level marketing companies that does release every year a income disclosure statement. Now, the thing that sucks with that is that their income disclosure statements for each year, it's only for active independent consultants. It's not for inactive and active independent consultants from that year. So it's not counting any of the people who quit, which is huge, right? We want to know that number. We want to know how many people didn't make any money. We want to know how many people quit. And then also, like I just said, the people who didn't either sell anything and weren't able to recruit anyone. So that's huge. So I want to make that clear. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I was able to do quite a lot of math. My brain was hurting so much. Then again, I love figuring out percentages and things like that. And honestly, that's why I love doing these types of videos and doing my MLM math, if you will. So I was able to re kind of do the math and reconfigure exactly what I needed to be able to adjust the income disclosure statement. Now, I wasn't able to do it for 2019 um, or any of the other years that I had income disclosure statements for. And again, this is just for the US. So I had income disclosure statements from 2016, 17, 18, and 19. However, I didn't have the other accurate information that I needed to be able to figure out how many reps there were and really adjust it. So I'm gonna put on the screen right now, I'm gonna make myself real small, I'm gonna put on the screen right now the 2018 income disclosure statement of active consultant, okay? So we're gonna look at this together. Now for 2018, this is the income disclosure statement for active consultants in the US, meaning we're not counting the inactive people who didn't make money or quit. We can talk percentages all day long, but this information, the fact that they leave this out, it is very, very, very misleading. In 2018, Arbonne reported that they had 174,000 independent consultants in the US, but only 17 of those consultants were active. So this income disclosure statement we're looking at right now from 2018 is only accounting for 17% of the company. And 17%, that figure is 30,100. Now, if we take the total 174,200, subtract out the active consultants, which is 30,100 active consultants, that shows us that Arbonne in 2018 had 144,100 inactive consultants. That's crazy. So 1% of the active amount is 301. So there's only 301 at the very top rank, which is national vice president or whatever. And then the next one, there's 602. The next one, there's 1,806. The second from the bottom is 7,204. That's not it. <laughs> the second from the bottom is 7,224. And then the very bottom, and keep in mind, this is just the active amount. At the very bottom, there's 19,866. Okay, and now I'm gonna put up the adjusted numbers right now as well. So as you can see, that number at the bottom of how many independent consultants there are in the company, people at the bottom rank, that's 163,900 66. That's so many. Like, th that's so many. And you can look over on the side, that's 94%. Again, it does not matter if we're looking at 2017, 2018, 2019, or hell, 2020. It does not matter what figures we're looking at. 
The fact still remains, and I'm not saying an opinion because numbers do not lie. These facts remain that 94% of people will not make any money. The average profit is $0. Less than 1% of people get to the rent to get the car, and less than 1% of people actually make a livable wage. And I also want to make it clear that they say, oh, well, you can, you know, do this in, you know, three to six months or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, that's also not really possible at all because the average time it takes those people that are at the top two ranks to get there is three to five and a half years. So now let's talk about the free car. A few bullet points first. <laughs> this is not a free car. Arbonne does not pay for your car. The Mercedes is not free. Arbonne does not gift you a car. You are not getting a company car. They are not 100% paying for your car, okay? Those are just a few things that I've seen all over Instagram, all over social media. So just like with other MLMs, you have to get to a certain rank and maintain that rank to be able to get your car bonus. For instance, Monates is called the um, Motor Club. And then this one is called the VP Success Award. It's weird. You have to either get to regional VP, which is the second from the top, or national VP, which is the top, tippity top, to be able to get that. Now, the and you only get this bonus if you actually get the car. That is a common misconception. People think that, oh, you're still gonna get the bonus and you know they're just paying you anyways, even if you don't go get the car. That is not true. It's only if you get the actual car. You have to send them video or picture proof every single month that you still have this emblem, this mandatory emblem that they have you put on their car, on the car, pardon me. It's a little branded, like it says Arbonne. It's like a badge basically. And you have to have it in three places on your car and that's decided by them. So you have to send them proof that you have not taken this off and that it's still there. Again, it's not a company car. It is in your name. You are taking out a loan. You are taking out a lease. You have to pay the down payment. You have to pay the maintenance, the tag, title, registration, insurance, any other fees. Um, but I want to make it clear, you have to pay the down payment, which a lot of these girls, once they, in any MLM, once they get to this level, you know, oh, I've qualified for my, or I've been qualified for this or something. And it's like, okay, well, why don't you go get it if you're making so much money? But they can't because they can't afford the down payment. They can't afford the, they can't afford the payment that's going to be be left over since their car bonus from their great company doesn't even cover the full amount of this luxury car. It's so expensive. You have to put down a shit ton. And if you're not going to buy a car and why are you putting down a lot of money that's throwing away money? So that's dumb. Don't do that. And then also, I mean, don't join this company anyways, but the, the bonuses, it depends on your rank range for RVP. It ranges from 200 to 800 a month. And then with the top rank, Rank, ranges from $400 to $1,000. Now, if you know anything about like leasing or having monthly payments on luxury cars, you know that it's very rare, again, unless you put down a lot of money, that in most of these girls don't have money, that you are actually going to have a low monthly payment. So $200 to $1,000 sometimes won't cut it. If you leave the MLM, you're stuck with it. It's your car. You're responsible for the payments. If they shut down, which looks like that might be coming soon for some of them. I mean, soon meaning the next five years. Thanks. Thank God to the attorney general. Fucking Ashley Moody. I want to snuggle her. But yeah, no matter, no matter what, it's your car. You're responsible for those payments. Does not matter. Now, another thing I want to talk about too, along with the car, you always see them talking about these free trips. I qualified for this free trip, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of times, again, you'll see that they qualified for this trip, but they're not actually going. And I guess I can understand, you know, why I still work, so I can't get off work or, you know, I can't, I don't know, whatever excuse they come up with, but the only reason, money, because they don't have the money because they can't afford their airfare. These trips are not free. I have heard personal testimonies from previous Arbonne independent consultants. These trips are not free. I have read in multiple places from Arbonne documents, Arbonne official documents that these trips are not free. Let me preface, there are girls at the very, very top. I'm sorry, I keep saying girls, but there are people at the very, very top who do actually get a all expense flight and accommodations 
expense trip paid for by the MLM. And I even saw that on Arbonne's site and it was, it was like a hundred of them and that's it. And we already saw that there is about 300-ish of the very top people. Like that's just sad. Another point I want to make that is just, it irks me is you'll see them say a lot of the time, especially with girls in Arbonne, they'll say, oh, my company paid for this. My business paid for this or my company paid for blah, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. When, when in reality, it's not something that's actually paid for by the company. It's that the people are using the money that they have made from the company to pay for whatever they're claiming that the company paid for. You know what that's also called? That's called you buying something. It's so dumb. It's so, so, so dumb. That would be like me saying that my employer pays for my house because I use the money I make to pay the mortgage, same with my husband, that it pays for our house, it pays for our bulldog, our cars, our car insurance, our utilities, it keeps my employer pays my light bill. Like, no, they don't. It's the delusion. Okay. Are you still with me? Stay with me. So now we're going to go over lawsuits and sketchy financial past and the FTC and all that. Okay. Now, one point I want to make, which when you think about it, you're going to be like, oh, damn, that makes sense. Because when I was thinking about this, I did the same thing. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> with MLMs, because of how they are structured, because of the pyramid structure, because of the recruiting aspect, they see a huge huge surge of growth within the first one to five years of being in business. You know, there's first, let's say just one to 10 years, like Monique. And like, there's like a few little other ones. But after that, they fizzle out like unique, Mary Kay, Herbal Life, Beachbody. What are some other cringy ones? Ugh, LuLaRoe, all of those, right? Now, some might have had more of a resurgence beak 20 point word, uh, because of introducing social media into their marketing tactics. And that's understandable. That's, I get it. However, now that social media has been around for a while, you're now seeing them to plateau again, right? Arbonne's been around for fucking ever since, what did we say, the 80s? And their numbers have been all over the place. It's pretty concerning. So let's just break down a little bit of that, make a little timeline for you. So in 2005, and pardon me that I'm looking down, I'm reading my numbers. So in 2005, and this is all directly reported, from Arbonne. If it's not directly on their site, it was directly quoted from them. So in 2005, there were 434,000 independent consultants internationally. Again, not just in the US. In 2006, there were 612,000. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty good growth, right? Just one year, it's pretty good. In 2007, they had 1.3 million independent consultants all over the world. That's a, that's a good amount. That's a lot, especially for back then. That's a lot. Think about it. 2007, 2009-ish. When did Instagram like become more popular? That was like 2000, 2010, 2011, 2012 was when Instagram was like popping. I mean, it's still popping, but when it like became very popular. So that's pretty impressive for that time. Time frame. However, what's not impressive is that from 2007 to 2009, the number of independent consultants fell from 1.3 million to under 800,000, which means in the 700,000s. Or it could mean way less than that. In 2010, the company who previously purchased Arbon in 2005 filed for bankruptcy protection to reduce all of their debts. Then the ownership of Arbon, since it is owned by or was owned by that company, was in the hands of different banks and private equity firms. And now that company is actually out of the picture and a larger company that is kind of like an umbrella company for other like cosmetic and lifestyle brands and stuff like that. They own Arbon. I looked up the other, their other subsidies, have never heard of any of them. It's very strange and a lot of them sound not sound sketchy, but when I looked into a few of them, it just looks sketchy. A lot of them have like the same name. It's very weird. And as of 2017, Arbon reports that they have 320,000 consultants internationally. And then, like we said before, in 2018, Arbon had 174,200 consultants in the US, which they've said many times that most of like a, the majority of their consultants are in the US. And that means that their numbers fell again from 2017 to 2018 because of 174,200 isn't a majority of 
320. Now let's move on to the FTC. Arbonne has received many warnings from the FTC and I'll, if I can find them, I'll put them up. Um, but Arbonne has received many warnings from the FTC over the past few years. In spring of 2020, the FTC sent a warning letter to Arbonne regarding misleading and false claims being made by independent consultants on social media. They were claiming that their products could treat and prevent coronavirus. They were also making more specific and I want to make it clear, definitive income claims. Let's talk about losing family and friends, okay? Now, if that's the first time you're hearing that or hearing someone say that and your first reaction is, Chelsea, calm down. <laughs> that's pretty aggressive. That's pretty Pretty dramatic saying that a multi-level like someone joining a multi-level marketing company like ruined their friendships or ended their marriage or like created issues like that that's crazy but now that I've actually seen what can happen I've heard testimonials I've seen statistics like I've heard from husbands it's so so crazy now when you first join a multi-level marketing company does not matter which which one they say they have the tools to success it's all the same shit. So the first one usually is the hundreds list. Now they have you make a list of a hundred people that you can contact to tell them about this, that you can share this opportunity with. Basically they want you to make a list of a hundred people who you can recruit. They do this because they want you to be able to earn back the money that you spent so that you won't quit. And so that they're going to make more money off of you because the more people that you recruit, the more money they make. Also the more money you you make but ultimately the more money they make as well because then those people are gonna you know get more people than those people than those people the thing is who are gonna, who are gonna be the first people that you put on that list I've done this before I've literally done this before and I went through listed my family everyone in my family from like my parents down most people like the females basically and then it went through friends and then went through you know you go through the outer circle and then further and further and further you got high school friends you know people you used to work with people you currently work with your cousins, your friends of friends, people you interact with on social media, things like that. Now, the first people you're going to hit up and the people who you're around the most is usually your family or close friends or your spouse or significant other. Now, those are going to be the people who are going to get really tired of hearing about this scam because most likely they see it for what it's worth. And then also those are going to be the people that you're going to be hitting up to sign them up under you so that you can meet a goal or so that you can do whatever. I don't even know what you're trying to do. Because your upline tells you and that the other people you surround yourself and it's at this point only the people in the company, they tell you that if they don't support you, if your spouse doesn't support you, if your family doesn't support you, it's because they don't get it and they're just not supporting you. They should support you and be nice to you and you, you don't need that negativity in your life. So therefore, you're going to cut them off because you're brainwashed because you need this to work. It goes from you being enticed by this lie to then wanting to earn your money back real quick, then to being even more desperate to make more money with it because you have now from that list told everyone what you're doing. So you don't want them to see you fail, especially if people around you, most likely they will question you and doubt you and judge you and be like, what are you doing? Now, let's talk about longevity. I personally don't understand the appeal to sign up or buy into a business that isn't going to be around or a industry that isn't going to be around for the next 10 to 15 years. They can say that, well, it already has been around for that long. Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> like just because something has been around for a long time, just because you have been getting away with something for so long, doesn't mean you're going to keep getting away with it. Now, a lot of reps for Monate especially, and I'm sorry I keep bringing them up, but uh, Monate and Arbonne are like literally the most popular ones right now. It's fucking white girls in hat. It kills me. Or white girls in brown hats to be more specific. Now, these reps say that they are going to be doing this for years and years and years and that the investment was only $300 and why wouldn't you want to invest into yourself? You are not investing into yourself. You are investing into the person above you. You're putting money in their pocket. That's it. If you had just a normal job and there's no shame against that, if you had just a normal job, you would be investing in yourself. The time you're putting in, you're getting money for that. The time you put into MLMs, you don't get money for that. That's okay. not how it works. Again, joining an MLM is not investing in your future. It's not investing in yourself. It's investing in your upline. That's it. And again, like I said before, this is why MLMs usually have a lot of growth within the first one to five or one to 10 years, and then they fizzle out. And it's because of the recruiting model. And if I have one more MLMer, I swear to God, tell me it's not a scam. It's not a pyramid scheme. Every company shaped like a period. We're not talking about the shape of the country.
on. Stop talking about the damn shape. It's not about the shape. It's about, it kills me. It's not about the shape. It is about the recruiting aspect. You can only make money in an MLM and you can only get to the top with an MLM if you get in and they always use the word ground level. That's not what that means. They are using all of these professional terms extremely inaccurately. Now you can only earn, you can, the only way you're going to make it to the top and actually be that fucking top person is if you get in at the very beginning of the MLM or if you get in at the beginning of it coming into your market. Keep in mind, like for instance, I've said multiple times that in Tampa, in the Tampa Bay area, South Tampa specifically, there's an infestation of Monet girls. And for some reason, I don't understand how there's apparently so many like top girls in this area. I think there's like five or six of them. There's too many of them. Why are you all here? Well, that just shows you how big the network is and how big the fucking pyramid is in this area, how oversaturated it is. Some of these girls are actually moving to other areas. One of them just recently moved to Miami so she can get more people there. And then one actually moved all the way across the country to Southern California. I'm pretty sure to like the LA area. How crazy is that? They ran out of people to uh, get here. So they went to different, they moved, they uprooted their lives and they moved. That's so insane to me. Now, also I want to make it clear. They always say there's so many people to recruit. There's so many, there's an unlimited amount of people to enroll in this MLM under you. That's one that there's not an unlimited amount of people in the world. And then they'll say, oh, there's a billion people. Sure. But a lot of those are in countries that your MLM isn't even established or where it can't do business. And a lot of those are under the age of 18. So it would be illegal for you to recruit them. So there aren't an unlimited amount of people. There's a small fraction of people that you can, that you can actually recruit. And then also with MLMs, let's say there's one person at the top, right? Let's say you start and you recruit five people. Each of those five people recruit five people. Each of those people recruit five people. By the 14th level or generation or tier, whatever you want to call it, you've run out of people in the world. So just want to make that clear as well. There's not an unlimited amount of people. There's a reason why these MLMs and the structure, the recruiting structure of this business, why it fizzles out, why it actually does not work, why there's no longevity. Okay. Now, one of the last things we're going to talk about today, again, I don't really like talking about the products because the problem with these companies isn't actually the products. It is the recruiting aspect of it and the misleading aspect of it and the lies and the, the fake luxury lifestyle. If you want to see videos on me reacting to those and dismantling those lies and all that, again, click up there if you're still even watching this video. Okay. So overpriced products, multi-level marketing companies, products across the board are overpriced. And why do they have to be overpriced? So that they can compensate for the commission that they are then going to pay the independent consultants and their upline. That's just how it works. What they like to say is, oh, well, it's direct selling. I'm di selling directly to you. I've cut out the middleman. I've cut out the distributor and the storefront and the shipping and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, and the advertising, and the marketing and the customer service. It's like, no, you haven't. All of that stuff's still there. And you didn't cut out the middleman. They added a middleman. When I order something from Sephora, I'm ordering it directly from Sephora. If I order something from Amazon, I'm ordering it directly from Amazon. It gets shipped to my house. I'm not paying an extra $20 for that product so that someone can get paid commission. It's not how that works <laughs> at all. Like that's not how that works. It's so it's just so funny that they say, we cut out the middleman. No, bitch, you are the middleman. You are, that's you. That is you. Sorry, little rant. I get crazy. So as I said before, Arbonne sells hair care, skin care, um, products that make you poop yourself, uh, health and health and wellness. It's like protein powder. And was that it? <laughs> yeah, so, oh, bath, bath and body is what I forgot to say before. I'm not gonna go down all of them, obviously, but I am gonna like put some comparisons up and make myself real small again. And so you can see everything. I like to make everything visual for you. Instead of just me telling you things, that's why I like to show you things. Because if you see the numbers, instead of me just telling it to you, you're going to understand it a lot better. And I need this to be drilled into your head. So um, a few products that really stood out to me, and I'm going to be reading off my thing. So I'm looking down, sorry. But a few things that stood out to me were the chocolate protein shake mix. It's a two pound bag for 
juice. So ridiculous. So crazy. Now the most popular protein powder, I literally have some in, uh, we, we even have some in our kitchen and we don't even take protein. I looked up there the other day because I was going to eat cereal and I was like, why, the f why do we have this? We don't eat this. It's um, Optimum Nutrition Protein Powder and it's the same size and it's $30 and 99 cents. Stupid. Now there's a sleep well spray, which I think you, you spray, I'm pretty sure you spray into your mouth. I thought it was just like lavender spray, like bed spray. I love that stuff. Um, but no, it's you spray it and you ingest it. You spray it into your mouth. It's $43 or you could just get some Zequil gummies or Ollie sleep gummies. I love the Ollie sleep gummies. I'll have them linked below for $12. And that lasts you, mine usually lasts me like a whole month usually, unless Tony starts taking them too. He always takes, he just steals them from me. Or even melatonin, which is even cheaper. And that, like, that is natural. Um, now into the makeup, which just really just drove me crazy. There's eyeshadow palettes that have 12 shades for $56. That's expensive. And we're comparing that to a 14 shade Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which ABH, they're like the most popular, like the elongated palettes. Like for instance, these ABH palettes, like the most common ones, common for ABH, I mean, and like shape and size and all that. It has 14 shades and those range anywhere from 20, not 24, Jesus. Those range anywhere from $42 to 49. I think there's like one or two for like 52 or something like that if you're like brand new. And that's a pretty great brand. I love those palettes. Or Urban Decay and Too Faced, they have pans that are uh, the same size or have more product and more shades for around $49. And the reason I'm showing like those brands is because I, when I was going through different products to compare it to, I sorted it by the cost. So yes, there are great eyeshadow palettes and great other products that are cheaper. I just want to make that clear. And then there's the pressed powder, which it comes in a bunch of different shades for $38. It's not that big. Like it's small. And that price is comparable to NARS Becca and Natasha Denona. She's expensive. And then a highlighting powder, a, um, a quad palette of that is $65. Again, comparable to Natasha Denona, it's actually more expensive than that. $3 less expensive than Charlotte Tilbury. And then a and then dollar more expensive than an Hourglass Cosmetics highlighting palette. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this one really is crazy. Y'all know I love the Maybelline BB cream. I wear it all the time, all of the time. I hardly even ever wear foundation. I just wear that, love it. It's my go-to. Easy, cheap, wears all day, makes me feel pretty. Arbonne CC cream is $44. $44. And again, these products aren't that big. You're not getting a lot of product for that price. And it's from a brand that isn't even like reputable in this, like in this industry. It's crazy. And we're comparing that to Armani's BB cream, Lancome's BB cream, and Smashbox, which those all are like right around the same price. One common comeback that I will see that they have is, oh, well, these are cruelty-free, they're vegan, they're gluten -free free like it's all clean products and you can you can get clean makeup that isn't that expensive and that actually looks good wears well and isn't part of a multi-level marketing company because let's be honest who's buying these products the people in the pyramid scheme i have never once in my life seen a person on youtube or a friend of mine or anyone in general who isn't part of the multi-level marketing company actually say, oh my God, this is my favorite product ever. Like that's, that's crazy. If you are toying with the idea of joining an MLM, of joining Arbonne specifically, please do more research. Not just from articles that the person who is trying to recruit you is gonna send you. Most likely, those are not legitimate sources. Most likely, those are just something they've made, something they've found from Arbonne or from their upline to fit their narrative, to fit their agenda, okay? Look on Reddit, look on YouTube, especially look on YouTube, look on the FTC complaints, look at the Better Business Bureau reviews, and also uh, the Glassdoor and Yelp reviews, people who have been recruited. It's very important for you to do that, to see both sides. Please remember that all of the information, all the statistics, all the reports, every Thing I shared with you today is facts directly from the Arbonne website itself or from the FTC or from the state attorney or from interviews that the heads of Arbonne have done themselves. So if you were to send this video to someone from Arbonne who is trying to recruit you, that's why I want to make this clear, they would probably say, oh, that's all lies. 
they can't say that because all the information I shared today is directly from the multi-level marketing company that they're trying to recruit you to. It can't be lies if it's all from Arbonne specifically. Now let's recap real quick. Arbonne's products are extremely overpriced so that they can pay their independent consultants commission. You are only paying more because there is a middleman. They say they've cut out the middleman. You're paying more because of that middleman. The income disclosure statements released all of the years, not just the one we looked at, are very misleading because it only shows the active independent consultants at all of those levels, meaning it only shows the people who earn any money. What's missing from that is 83% of the independent consultants within the US side of Arbonne. They don't show that because 83% of them did not make any money at all. They didn't sell anything. They could not recruit anyone or they realized they made a horrible mistake and they quit. It doesn't show those because they only want to show you the positive, even though only showing the active ones still doesn't look good. The trips are not free. The free trips are not free. Only a select few of the very top ranked independent consultants actually get an all expense airfare accommodations trip. That's it. Not everyone. Even if you qualify to go on a trip, it doesn't mean it is paid for. It is not paid for. Your airfare is never included in that. The free car is also not free. The car is not paid in full by the company. The leasing agreement or the loan agreement, whatever it is, is in your name, not the multi-level marketing company's name. It is not a company car. It is not gifted to you from the company. They give you a car bonus that may or may not cover the monthly lease or loan payment. You are responsible for the down payment of this luxury Mercedes. You are also responsible for the tag, title, registration, licensing, any other fees and maintenance. If you know anything about luxury cars, Mercedes and BMWs, but Mercedes are extremely expensive to repair and maintain. You have to pay for that. They do not pay for that. It's all in your name. It's your responsibility. And also that's terrifying for your credit. Arbonne's number of international independent consultants went from over a million in 2007 to under 320,000 in 2017. That's just 10 years. That's awful. So please, I am begging you, do not let the fake lifestyle, the fake luxury lifestyle of the white blonde girls in brown hats fool you. That is it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other multi-level marketing company you would like me to do a deep dive on next. I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be a bitch to edit. <laughs> Um, as always, educate, don't hate, please educate, do not hate, and above all else, remain humble and let these bitches know. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.